Today I'll be going over how to start streaming in 2024, all the equipment and the software that you'll need. get into what gear and software that you're gonna need, here's a couple things you should consider. Do you know what platform you wanna stream on as well as what console are you gonna be streaming from? Once you figure out those things, then starting the streaming process is gonna be really easy. Now there's a lot of platforms you can stream on. You can stream on TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, Kick, Facebook, and a bunch of other platforms you can go ahead and dive right into. Now aside from those platforms, you need to figure out what console you're gonna stream on. You're gonna be streaming on the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, PS5, Xbox, or the PC. Once you figure out which console you're gonna stream on, then you can figure out what particular capture card you're gonna need. If you're gonna be streaming off your console, off your PS4, PS5, Xbox, or your Nintendo Switch, you're gonna to need to go ahead and get yourself a capture card. Now, the capture card that I have right now is the Elgato HD60 S Plus. And the one I have right now hooked up to my streaming rig is the Elgato HD60 S. Now, I'm gonna include everything down and linked in the description, so if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, feel free to go ahead and do so. Now, setting up your capture card is pretty easy. You have a manual that comes with it, you have the power cord, the HDMI cord that goes into the console, and you have another HDMI cord that goes into your PC or into your monitor. Now, the next piece of equipment I'm gonna be talking about right now is the Elgato Stream Deck. I know you guys have heard me rant and rave about the Elgato Stream Deck on all my other videos, but it is the heart of my entire streaming rig. You can control scenes, audio, you can clip moments from your stream to be saved on your PC. You can do so much more with the Elgato Stream Deck. So that's another piece of equipment that I would suggest using if you're gonna start streaming. Now, of course, another piece of equipment we'll be talking about is an audio interface. And what do you mean by audio interface? So I have the Go XLR as my audio interface, so it controls my volume, the game volume, the music volume, as well as Discord volume. So if I have teammates or a community member in the Discord chat that can control the volume level so it's not overpowering the stream. Now, aside from the audio interface and a capture card, get yourself a decent light source is gonna be very important, especially if you're gonna be using a webcam. Now, the light source that I use is Elgato Key Light. It has different color temperatures. It can be warm, it can be cool, and it covers a white space when it comes to lighting the subject me while on stream. Now, another light source that I can recommend is a Logitech Litro Glow. It's another great lighting source you can use to light yourself while you're streaming. Now, the cameras that I recommend getting is a Logitech C920, as well as a Logitech Facecam. Now, don't forget, I'll be including links to a lot of equipment at various price points down in the description, so make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. So now we got all the equipment out of the way, let's go ahead and talk software. So the software that I would suggest using to stream is OBS. Now, OBS is a free streaming software that comes with a lot of features. Now, the particular OBS that I recommend is the OBS live which is also the stream elements version of OBS. Now that one uses less CPU or and it doesn't bog down your system. I hear some bonus information so when it comes to using OBS you can also integrate some plugins while you're streaming and the plugin that I would recommend is using Atom. So Atom is a vertical plugin that you can use on that particular software to have both a vertical layout as well as a horizontal layout and you can control them independently. So if you're streaming on TikTok as well as Facebook, Twitch or YouTube, you can have two streams running at the same time while having two different layouts. And of course, I honorable mention when it comes to a camera is a DSLR camera. The one I use when I'm streaming is the Sony AT100. Those aren't being made anymore. So if you go look it up on Amazon, it's gonna be costing a pretty penny. So if you're gonna go ahead and get yourself a DSLR to stream, I would, I would recommend the Sony A6000 is enough. Now, if you're not planning to stream on console, then PC, I would suggest is the way to go. You save a lot of money and not needed to have a capture card. And streaming from OBS is pretty easy. Oh, and I almost forgot. So there's a couple of mics I would recommend using while you stream. You can use the Yeti mics or you can use a Shure SS7B. That one is of higher quality. So if you just get it into streaming, I would suggest holding off on that particular mic and stick to a Blue Yeti or a Blue Yeti Nano just so you can get a feel of what exactly you're gonna need for streaming. I would suggest sticking to the Blue Yeti or the Blue Yeti Nano. Those are USB mics, so it's plug and play, easy to use, and a great starter microphone. Now, if you'd like to see in that video how to get your various consoles and PCs ready for streaming, let me know down in the comments. Go ahead and drop a like on the video. If you get to 100 likes, I'll make sure I get that video out ASAP. So don't forget guys, everything will be included down in the link to the description. Until next time.